Hey guys, and welcome back to Ganji Plans. It is I, Rebecca, here with a December 2022 uh, planner flip through. Both of the kids are asleep, so let's try to do this quickly. Um, still for right now in the pocket size traveler's notebook, I don't have access to anything else right now because most of our belongings are in storage. We're in a temporary place um, and we're going to be moving like the, right around Christmas. <laughs> again um, and getting our stuff back. So at that point, I'm going to be changing what I'm in, but for now, this is where we are uh, through probably January. It's gotten some scratches, but it's loved. This is a Chic Sparrow Outlander in the color wine. Uh, it's the pocket deluxe with the pockets and stuff in it. So we've got just a couple of random mis miscellany stuff in the back, um, a straight edge, some cash, a check, my daughter's school photo, my husband's business card. Uh, the first insert is all stuff from my shop, I think. Most of the stuff from my shop. Uh, a couple of spare covers that I had had lying around. Gangiplans.com is where you can get all of these inserts. This is a month on one page. Uh, so I have those in here from August through January. Then a little bit of a future log. This is insert 54. This is the school calendar. Uh, for my daughter's school and it's all folded up in here. I didn't trim it or anything. I just folded it in and tipped it in. Um, so that works pretty well. Then this is a new insert. Um, the print quality is not fantastic because this is just, I use my parents' printer because they live nearby because um, our printer's in storage, but I tipped this in. This is insert 74. It's a freebie if you happen to be Catholic and happen to want to know when various um, church holidays and holidays of obligation are for the next six years, you can use this. And this tells you like, okay, the New Year's is a Sunday, so it's not a holy day of obligation. Like it is, it is a holy day, clearly. But when Mary Mother of God falls on a Monday, it's not a holy day, but it will be on these. So you can like plan ahead and stuff like that and know when Easter is. Um, it's in April this next year, so you know, end of March, the year after that. It's on 420 in 2025, that'll be fun. And so, yeah, this is uh, useful, something I, I put stuff that I would use personally into my shop for other people to have, and this one I put as a freebie. Uh, this is the and afterwards section of my future log for upcoming stuff um, in multiple years going forward. These are recurring tasks that happen on sort of a monthly-ish basis, um, and so, going to have to maybe wrap around and do January over here, I think, um, because like I said, this is moving just into January, but then I'll have a new setup for the rest of the new year, new things that I have to do every month, every two months, that kind of thing. And then this is recurring tasks uh, that are not on that kind of schedule, and it's basically just car maintenance. This is, I was doing my content planning in here on paper, this was insert 14, just the left half of it, but then I started using digital planning for my content calendar, and so I'm going to be doing a video about that, I hope in January, um, but that's why these aren't getting used. Then library books, um, we are living currently next door to a library, so I have some stuff checked out, so we didn't have to pack too many books, they all belong to the library, and um, this is just keeping track of when they're due. A personal wish list for myself, this insert in the middle, because none of this is stapled together, this is insert 55, which is birthdays and anniversaries. So everybody in our life, um, we put the year that they were born or that their anniversary or whatever happened, and then I don't have to remake this every year. Um, and I just like to have that. I need to fill out more of it. Um, this is some more gift ideas for other people. And then the rest of this insert is meal planning. That's one of the things I'm doing right now. Um, not while the kids are asleep because I'm taking this opportunity to film, but I just stopped. I was in the middle of making a meal plan for the next two weeks and a grocery list because we have to go to Walmart this afternoon for that. The next insert is weekly and daily. I'm making this much progress. I think I could probably go faster. Um, this is from Zequins, and it's just a grid, a dot grid. So let's see, let's go back to like, yeah, that's from the end of November. Um, I'm using this weekly spread uh, with like columns for different categories of stuff. It's just something I was trying out. 
a um, couple of dailies. When I feel like I have a busy day with a lot of moving moving parts, I will make a time ladder for my day. Um, so I did that for a few days that were busy. Then um, this is this is last week. We went up for a wedding. And then this is this current week. One very busy day with a lot of moving parts. So I'll probably make a daily for that as well. And the rest is relatively, it's just a lot of to-dos because it's Christmas coming. Um, I have this, these are just dailies from last week that I have um, in the middle here. I use this basically as a bookmark and to close off pages I'm not using. Um, and then this is like today's, oh gosh, I have to put the laundry in the dryer. And then I drew out the weeklies for the next few weeks because I'm already, there's a lot going on, like I said, and so I'm pre-planning a little bit, but I have an order of stickers in from Mad Hatter that just got delivered to my parents' house earlier today. So I'm going to go get those uh, this afternoon when we're out, and then I will finish sort of setting this up. So this is the week before Christmas. This will be, and you can see it's weird, right? So like, we're gonna be out of town these, like overnight here and here, and so it will make sense, I hope, and you'll be able to see this on Instagram. Um, categories of to-do lists. Then the week after Christmas, this is only six days um, because then on New Year's we're going to uh, on a cousin's trip so that's going to be for three days and then we've got the rest of the week here. Um, and then this this week between Christmas and New Year's is when we're going to be like moving all of our stuff because we have to be out of the apartment we're in currently on this day right after we get back. So as you see, it's busy. <laughs> so I'm trying to pre-plan as much as possible and also um, pre-film as much as possible. This is a sticky note for some things, a reminder. I was gonna put this in I think this, this week because uh, whatever we're pro um, contributing to Christmas Eve dinner and Christmas night um, snack and dessert party. Uh, I think we're going to purchase on Christmas Eve day after we're up there and then cook it at my parents in, in my in-laws house. Anyway, that's the rest is a blank. And I probably won't finish filling this all out before I'm done with this setup because I'm really looking forward to something different. You want to change after a while. Then we've got three inserts um, piggybacked onto this one string. I have a spare string here, but when I put things here, they get kind of stuck in the back and so, it's the bane of my existence trying to get this to stay flat, um, but it all fits. Anyway, first insert here is like to-do lists, and I should be in here more often, um, but I've been using just weekly to-do lists. I want to keep things right on top of my brain. Self-care bingo, haven't looked at. Um, this is like a project plan, like remembering which project for which week. Uh, it's insert 52. I haven't been using that. Running to-do lists, sticky notes, lots of uh, this one is from Peanuts Planner Co. It's called Goal Planning, and I love it for small projects. Um, I made a list of things I wanted to do as I was like unpacking and things to like declutter and organize, and I got all of them done. I'm very proud of myself. Um, and then I think I did I did most of these things. There's only one thing really I can do on here still. Um, so a couple like small projects. I oh no, not that. I think that's I don't know. <laughs> Things that are in storage I can't work on. It's just what it is. And then I'm waiting on, so like, yeah, I need to change my uh, wardrobe for my son's socks when we move into a new place. Uh, craft projects, someday maybe list, um, to watch, and then that's it. The next insert is Christmas stuff. This is all from my Christmas bundle, which is insert 51 in my shop. Um, again, the print quality is not fantastic. I did print from my phone, so I am filming this on the the 13th. So I think I filled the right, the right number of boxes. This is just a countdown. Um, then this is holiday traditions, so basically a running to-do list, and I highlighted the things I wanted to do. Um, movies, we, I'm just sort of checking them off as I go and adding more as I think of them. Um, and where they're located is the important thing. Then these were shoe stuffers, not stocking stuffers for St. Nicholas Day. Gift ideas for other people. Don't look. Anybody who's on here, then um, there's just space for more. But I also have like a running uh, sticky note here for people that I sort of, sort of brain dumping we should get presents for that are not on this list. This is stocking stuffers for the 
actual Christmas Eve stockings. Um, it's like a separate list of lists. And then I did these sticky notes when I was doing my weekly plan with me video that went out maybe last week, week before, I don't know at this point. Um, trying to spread out everything from this traditions list onto like specific weeks. So I don't forget it. Week four, it's gonna be a crazy week. Like I said, we're out like out of town for days of it, but we also still, I wanna bake cookies that week because it's when my daughter's off school. The final insert here is like project pages. So I'm gonna kind of, maybe I'll just show you this um, because a lot of them I don't want you to see. Um, we were planning to move the girls into their own room, but then we moved. So we're gonna figure that out. Um, my daughter's birthday party in September. This was notes from a video I watched, notes about sleep training, list of video ideas, uh, camping lists for the camping trip we took in September, some notes for shop stuff, um, more stuff for the birthday party, notes from a meeting at my daughter's old school, stuff that I was working on my keyboard, um, Halloween costume stuff, or obviously October for my second born, um, oh, more tasks for my shop stuff, um, social media tracking, uh, we're trying to pick a school for my daughter after we moved. Um, so I was doing some comparisons, um, some notes on a couple of like debit cards that I have so I don't lose them. I remember how much I was on them. Notes about moving, um, notes about the garden in my parents' house. Three things. Oh, this was just a note I took when I watched a reel that really resonated. A packing list for SeaWorld. Um, notes about sending letters to Santa. And then we ran out of space on this index. I think I was going to. I was going to start on the back but I haven't yet. So I just kind of, instead of, I haven't numbered these pages and maybe I should, um, but I was just putting a list of what all is in here so I can find it. And then that's it. Um, kept it, I think, yeah, that was pretty short and sweet this time. Um, these can get very verbose. And I guess you guys like that because flip through videos actually get a lot of views. So comment below if you are uh, subscribed to me, if you like these, if you're not subscribed to me, if there's something that like, I don't know, I feel like um, the people who are not subscribed to me are the ones who watch my flip through videos. So welcome. I post videos every week on Thursday. So I hope you have a productive day. Uh, subscribe, ring the bell, and I will see you in the next one next Thursday. Bye.